in this video we will use a stata 17 which is the latest version that we have and we will use it to learn some hacks uh, a key short key that will help us to save quite a bit of our time and how to save the output in an, an efficient way instead of uh, uh, getting its uh, indentation lost so this is the uh, front of stata that is stata mp it is mp because it is multi-processing and this is one of the most efficient version of it whereas we have the standard version as well however this is the most efficient version of stata 17 it is a registered uh, software it is uh, coming with all of the uh, ability to handle quite a bit of data as you can see there is a lot of space that we can use in this case so just like other versions of stata it is having a command span uh, here all those uh, commands will be saved here the commands will be written and uh, here this is the output pan in the middle and on the right hand side we can see a variable span in which the variables will appear and the variables names and their properties label etc they will appear here and all those menus they are there which are available in stata the first tip is about saving our avis from uh, the brightness of the screen and uh, since dark mode is very much in vogue these days stata has brought this option in it as well for that we need to go into edit and then we have preferences within preferences we have general preferences we have to click this and in the very first tab uh, that is the general we see overall color scheme this is currently the light color scheme which definitely is not gentle on our eyes so let's choose other options for example light gray it is still uh, not uh, very much gentle on our eyes then we have blue it has turned a few borders into blue color and then we have finally the dark mode and as soon as we select it we can see that the things are becoming more friendly to our eyes it is definitely that dark mode which is very much famous these days so we can use this or we can continue using the usual mod that we have uh, right now let me continue with the usual mode that is the um, bright color mode that we have and then uh, we can do a small thing and that is that I can run the regression by using the two variables that is y and r and uh, this would be a pooled regression because this is xt x stands for the cross sections and t stand for the time dimension and reg is for regression comma re re stands for random effects model so i assume that you know about the uh, command of xt set in which we set this as a panel data uh, in which we write the country identifier first and then we write the years and when we do this for example if I do it here it suggests that it is strongly balanced here there is another uh, uh, intertwined tip that I can give you and that is to right click on this output mod uh, pan and see the font when I click the font option I will definitely get the font size option as well if you increase it definitely it's going to be easier for you to read and uh, save your eyes from getting uh, badly affected by uh, the small font that they usually use so right now it is uh, more suitable as we can see it's more readable as compared to before so we have uh, made it uh, a panel data by setting this in this form by using this command now we come to the random effects model command uh, I have copy pasted it and I'm going to enter this command and I can see the results are appearing uh, it is getting a little trunk uh, so I'm going to reduce the font size uh, and I'm going to run it one more time so that I get the uh, a 
clear picture of how it looks like now the font is larger than before as well as uh, larger than the original original font as well as it is uh, uh, not that much small which becomes a problem in reading so I can run this small command and I can get the results so basically I'm going to run uh, a number of commands here this was the first one that I ran and that was random effects GLS regression a very famous regression after uh, estimating this I will calculate the uh, statistic of Brush and Pagan regression multiplier test for random effects and the command would be XT set 0 and then I will go for fixed effects uh, regression the command for which will be this and then the fixed effects um, uh, model we will calculate the houseman test for which the commands are as follows all of these commands will be executed and then we will go towards the modified walled test for group wise heterocidasticity for which for which we will run the fixed effects model first and then the um, modified wall test command which is xt test 3 and then the voltage test for command uh, of uh, autocorrelation in the panel data which is this command so you see there is a number of tests that I want to run and the standard procedure would be to estimate them one by one for instance I have typed this command here and I'm going to run it and when I do I get the results of the random effects model and after it I type xt test 0 command which gives us the results of the panel effects model then for fixed effects model we enter the command to store the results of the fixed effects we enter this command to run the random effects model again we run the command and finally to get the houseman statistic we run this command and we get the result of the houseman test for testing heterocidasticity we have to run the fixed effects model first we have the test for heterocidasticity which is modified wall test so we have run this as well finally for autocorrelation we run this command and we get the results so you see uh, we have run quite a bit of commands and we have typed them again and again and then ent press the enter button again and again waited for the outcome uh, this is one way of doing thing but this hack basically uh, that I'm going to tell you is about saving time and typing all of the commands once and entering once so I have taken all these commands uh, and I have pasted them here from here I can copy paste all these commands in the stata command menu uh, and in this span uh, all these commands are now clearly visible I have written or uh, copy pasted all these commands together so as soon as I press enter at the end of these commands uh, I will get all the results in a blink of an eye let us see now I press the enter button so you see in the matter of seconds all of the tests are run and uh, a lot of time is uh, saved here especially when we have such analysis in which there is a quite a bit of uh, um, diagnostic tests or we are try experimenting with a number of variables we can change the variables uh, write those commands together and then run them together once so that we get all the possibilities and then we can choose the most suitable variable so this is uh, uh, one way of uh, saving quite a bit of our time especially when a lot of trial and error is to be done another hack is about recalling those commands that we have already executed and only uh, two buttons can help us uh, in this regard I am back in the stata and in this command pane I can see that uh, if I want to go to the last command I'll press the page up button uh, this is uh, the outcome of pressing the page up button and if I press it again 
I get the previous command and then again I can go to the command before the previous command and I can keep on pressing it to get the uh, preceding commands that I have run before and I can now press page down button to come back to the later commands and you can see I have come to the last command that I run that is XT serial YR and if I press page down again uh, this command will also disappear and I'll get a fresh command pen. So you see it's a good way to recall those commands and save time instead of typing them again. You can simply bring them back and you can see if in this command uh, you know there are there is a full stop and there is a comma and all those keywords variable lists uh, it's very ha handy to have this uh, couple of uh, key strokes of uh, page up and page down to recall the commands previously existed and executed now finally if I am to extract the output it should not get messed up or it should not lose its indentation so let us see how can I extract the output in a very simple way I am choosing this regression outcome or the fixed effects model and I copy paste it I copy it and I paste it in the word file here I am going to paste it uh, and when I do you see that the format is lost the output is barely understandable with all the um, lack of uh, word wrap so we uh, we we need some other method uh, for that we can paste the same output in the notepad file and we know notepad file is a very commonly used file uh, a software actually a built-in software in every version of the windows so here you can see i have uh, opened uh, an untitled um, notepad file a new one and I'm going to paste the same output that I pasted in Word and now you can see it's very much uh, as it is uh, as it was in the original Stata output and it has not lost its um, format so from here you can convert it into a PDF file where it will retain its format and this looks more professional uh, instead of uh, using MS Word where the file format the format of the output is lost so this is how you can use a simple software that is notepad to bring out the output in in a way where its format is not lost so these were a few uh, hacks about the stata the dark mode we also learned how to get the results quickly instantaneously and that was to copy paste them together and enter only once and then we learned about a uh, couple of keys that can bring back those commands uh, easily and we don't have to type them again and again and then uh, we also learned that how we can extract the output of Stata without getting it messed up, without losing its indentation. So these were a few hacks that we can use to be more efficient and time saving and we can also conserve the condition of our eyes uh, by using the dark mode in the Stata 17. Thank you.